They said, just wrap the screw. That's what we always do, and we're always fine. So, what what did I do? I wrap the screw and tightened it up. And what happened? Well, Inspector came. He opened one box, and he was like, huh, I want you to open the rest of the box. He came to me, and he said, you do realize that's not right. And I was like, well, why not? I mean, it's it's to the box. And he said, sure, it is to the box. Would it work? Absolutely. But it's not right. It's not code. I'm not passing it. He failed the whole job. All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to talk about something that has been... I've had a heated conversation with many people on grounding, and we need to talk about grounding, basically. So, this is a very... <laughs> crazy topic because everybody has their own opinion and you know I always err on the side of caution um, I tend to overground my boxes I tend to do a lot of things that uh, you really don't have to do but I'm more of a person who likes to be redundant on certain things and I like to just like I said overkill things me because that is your protection and I did a video on uh, grounding pigtails and a lot of people I guess I love it some people you know said I was doing it wrong some people said I didn't have to do that so this is gonna be kind of a clarification video this video you may want to stick around because it is gonna be loaded with a lot of information that I can back up in the code book it's going to have a lot, a lot of information. I'm going to show you a lot of parts that you can do, how you can not ground things technically and get away with it, if that makes any sense. When I say that, I still ground, even though you don't have to. And what I'm talking about in that, so you know, maybe that sparked your interest, you know, these self-grounding receptacles, you know, you technically don't have to bond it to a box or whatever but i why not i mean it's only one more step and it's not going to kill you so let's talk first about grounding all right let's talk about do you physically need to put a pigtail in your box i'm gonna show you what i'm talking about here in a second and then run another wire net to it. So let's start there because that was one of the things that people said, such an overkill. Is it? Yeah, it is. Uh, I still do it and I still will do it because I think without the ground, you ain't got nothing. So one of the things that I had, I had done in the video is I was putting the grounding like this, okay? And I was making my joints, putting the ground in there, and I would basically put a wire, all right? And then I would make a joint. See what I'm saying here? And I put a wire nut on it. And I'd push it back in the box. Now, to me, that's right. It's not wrong. There's a different way you could go about that, yes. Okay, do you have to do it like that? No, but to me, this makes a lot of sense. All right, because I overground things, yes, but why not? I mean, it's not gonna kill you. The only issue I would have with this, and your cubic inches don't even come into play with this, and if you don't know anything about cubic inches, I got a whole slew of videos. You can check right over there in that corner and you guys can see, but you know, sure it does take up space in your box. I mean, you can see, all right? This is what, okay, this is what somebody had recommend doing. And there's nothing wrong with that either. I'm gonna show you what they recommended, all right? But the only thing about it is, you'll have to have a little longer part of this wire, so let's see if we can pull some out, all right? So what they had recommend doing, and like I said, it's completely not wrong, is basically taking this out, just using the ground screw, put it on, and wrapping 
your screw like that. And call it a day. Now, sure, it's a lot cleaner, but I'm always, I'm not always, but I don't know. I err on the side of caution because what if, you know, people get in here and they go and then finally the wire breaks. Well, now you don't have this. And all you have is that little box. Sure, your box is still grounded, but I just err on the side of caution. What I did was completely fine. This is completely fine. So there's nothing wrong with either of these two. But here, what I'm gonna show you now is something wrong because if you ever work with somebody who ever does this, take this out here. Because this, what I'm gonna show you is completely wrong. So I worked with a company who was very cheap a long time ago. They're out of business now, so it doesn't really matter. They're gone and they, basically did half butt jobs, all right? And what they did is they had me run a bunch of receptacles in boxes like this on a block wall. And we tap conned it to the wall. Also, we also went on a partition board inside and every single <laughs> screw, they told me, cause I asked them, I said, can you get me some ground screws? They said, we're not doing that. Just hook them to the screws, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, well, I don't think you can do that legally, can you? Because at that point, I, I knew the code just enough to get me by. Of course, now I know it really well. And they said, just wrap the screw. That's what we always do, and we're always fine. So what what I do? I wrap the screw. And tightened it up. And what happened? Well, Spectre came, he opened one box and he was like, huh, I want you to open the rest of the boxes. We, where we were at, we only had to leave one box open so we could show him because the inspector was a very good guy. And he came to me and he said, you do realize that's not right. And I was like, well, why not? I mean, it's, it's to the box. And he said, sure, it is at the box. Would it work? Absolutely. But it's not right. It's not code, I'm not passing it. He failed the whole job. What happened then? The guy came to me and said, I can't believe, why, why the inspector was, I can't believe you did that. You're supposed to know. I'm like, I wasn't even a journeyman then. I was still a helper. And I was like, first of all, so I was quiet because I didn't want to lose my job. So I was like, okay. So after he left, I said, you're the one that told me to do that. And he's like, well, you should do better. I'm like, I did. I told you to get the ground screws. Long story short, don't ever do that. All right. Now, you don't have to use a green ground screw. It's got to be a machine type screw with two, minimum of two threads in a box, okay? So that's all you gotta do. Get them, or you can use a machine screw with a nut on the back and then you can ground it, but you can't use any kind of coarse thread screws, any drywall screws, stuff like that. It will fail right now. Even though it is technically grounded, I guarantee if you put a meter here, it would be grounded that box if you owned it out, but it is still not code. Do not do it, okay? 250 is grounding. Check it out. Everything I just now told you is literally in that section. That's a little clarification for you guys. All right, so can you do it like that? Sure you can. Do I do, I do it like that? Very seldom. I always use a green ground screw and pigtail it. It's just my choice and I will always stick to that. I just, I'm redundant, I like extra. That way I know when I walk away, nothing will happen. Will it happen the other way? Probably not, but I'm not taking that risk, so. Now, one more thing I wanna talk about, which will be another video coming shortly, is grounding without a ground screw. Now, there are boxes, older boxes, that don't have these ground screws in them, and you can't, and I mean, like, they may be in plaster, or they may be in block, or they may be just old as hell, and you can't tap them to put a machine screw in it. How do you get by, how would you ground a box at that point to make it legal and to ground the box? Well, I'm gonna show you a way that is pretty neat, so you definitely need to stick around. Give me a thumbs up if this has given you any value. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. Like and subscribe, God bless and we'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.